So there's a site called Zillow where you can look up real estate. Pretty much you go onto the site, you search up any place in the country or in the world, and you can find property listings. If you wanna buy an apartment, condo, house. I did my research, I found a place that I personally like, Miami, Florida, and I found a house that looked pretty cool. And I told myself, I'm gonna recreate this in Lego. So I challenged myself to take my pieces and see how I could recreate this thing. So here is the finished project. So this is a house that I found in Miami, Florida, and it's a real address. You could probably check it out for yourself. I like it. I like how simple it is. Some house that maybe I would even live in if I ever moved down to Florida. Before I get started, there is a hot dog in this build. If you can find it, comment down below and tell me where in the video you found it. I'll give your comment a heart. This house is pretty much built on a 32 by 32 base plate. I wanted it to look as close as I could to the actual one since the house pretty much has no interior design. After all, the house that's on sale. I got to have fun for myself and customize the interior the way I wanted it to look, which I'll get to later. But first, on the very front is a large open patio, as well as some very simple landscaping with a few plants and trees. Also a garage, and I had loads of fun making this driveway design, which uses a sideways building technique. And moving to the backyard, it's very simple and basic. As with the actual pictures, there's a rear patio. Down in Florida, it gets nice and warm. It'd be nice to take a barbecue out back here with the boys, cook up some delicious steak. You know the vibes down in Florida. But anyway, that's the exterior of the house. This house does come apart into three different segments, and both the second and the first floor have their own distinguishable features. So starting with the garage, there's a full-on vehicle workshop. I included a throwback to Emmett's car from the Lego movie. So a tiny car like this can fit in a tiny garage like this, which has some tools and uh, just a simple little workstation. The entire first floor is one big open room starting with the dining room as you walk in, which has tons of waffles because you know how much this boy loves waffles. There's also a living room with a Wii and a TV screen. Check out minifigs.me by the way. These are custom pieces. And also next to the living room is the kitchen. It's got all the essentials that you can need, including a refrigerator, pantry, sink, stove, and all that jazz. I have a hidden feature. If you lift open this rug, there's actually some money underneath. And if you don't think that's enough, there's even a bookcase that's full of money. <laughs> And the second floor is completely dedicated to the bedroom. There's one bedroom up here. I'm kind of a sneakerhead, to be honest with you. So I have a little sneakerhead paradise right here with some really expensive looking shoes, as well as a couch where you can put the shoes on and really find what your true drip is. And there's also a bathroom in here with a walk-in shower, as well as a toilet sink. And there's even a washing and drying machine station so uh, you can get your clothes all cleaned. Anyway, that's the second floor. That's the first floor, and that's the house. This was a really fun challenge. I genuinely enjoyed doing this and I want to do more challenges like this So if you have any ideas, I want to hear your comments check out the patreon If you want to support me as a creator check out my Instagram for cool photos of this build Also check out my TikTok. TikTok most importantly because I'm trying to grow that hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna catch you in the next one. So thank you for watching keep on building stay spicy